I didn't just leave my job and all of a sudden have a Netflix show. Right. Yeah, it took like over a decade of of, of 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 keeping on going, of like never giving up, of of wanting to kind of find my passion, and and then it kind of when it when I found my passion, it wasn't enough just to do it for myself. I had to like do it for others as well. Like I used to travel alone. I didn't have cameras with me, and then one day I realized to myself, I was like, you need to share this with people. You need to, you know, I, I've, I've met many, many wise souls. I've met, read many beautiful books that have helped me. So I was like, I want other people to get some benefit from what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, but there were many moments where I wanted to give up. Many. Like the famous uh, English politician, Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. He has a famous quote, one of many. And he says, never, never, never give up. And when I'm on the floor... I remember that. Uh, and I tell people, because I get many, many emails and many messages uh, from people who are, you know, suffering. And I tell them it's okay to be on the floor as long as you know that in a day, in a three days, in a week, you're going to get up. Stay on the floor for as long as you need, but know that you're going to get up. Now, relying on other people's kindness and generosity, absolute strangers, with cultural differences, locations you've never been, language barriers, one, how did it feel the first time having completely given up all of this to deal with that, putting yourself out there and then two, following up with all of the rejection that comes along the way. And the show I think does a great job encapsulating those moments where people are like, hell no, like, <laughs> get away from me. I'm good. Yeah. So when I first started, people would say to me, you can't do it. It's impossible. I actually hitchhiked from Times Square to the Hollywood sign. One of the first things I did. And people were like, it's impossible. And I was like, in the back of my head, I was like, maybe they're right. But I kept on going. And what I realized is it's not impossible. Because the way you connect with another human being is you bypass your mind and you go to your heart. And when you, go through, you come from your heart, you connect with their heart. And when two hearts connect, not necessarily in a romantic setting, but just generally, magic happens. So I knew that ultimately I would find, as I kept on going, I knew that I would ultimately find people that came from their hearts, I would come from my heart and magic would happen. So at the beginning it was like, oh my God, this is impossible. And now it's like, I can do it, you know? Um, the rejection piece is not easy. It's, it's not easy. No one forced me to circumnavigate the world on the motorbike. No one forced me to go around and rely on kindness. But there were moments when people are rejecting me. And I am saying to myself, and sometimes to others, I'm like, what the hell? I'm, you know, this is, this is terrible. I, can't, I don't want to do this anymore. And they're like, because sometimes the crew will say to me, Liam, whose idea was this? I'm like, mine. <laughs> they're like, okay. So I'm like, all right, you're right. You know? So again, as a kid, I used to like, as many of us have this, this issue, I hated rejection, even as an adult. So again, I put myself in a situation where I would have to be rejected T day in, day out. So I became okay with rejection. I don't like it, but I became okay with it. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You have your internal biology that's always going to create these feelings and emotions, fight or flight, this is scary, I shouldn't be doing this. That doesn't go away, but you understand the payoff on the other side. Obviously, having a crew follow you around adds a layer <laughs> of pressure. But let's explore that a little bit in the beginning when it was just you. There were no cameras and rejection truly meant like you're hopeless in that moment. Like in that evening, where am I sleeping? Where am I getting a square meal? So how did you deal with that internal battle when you didn't have the producer looking at you going, hey, this is your idea? Yeah. Um, I knew that there was going to be a payoff as you just mentioned, and the payoff was going to be magnificent. And that at the end of the day, after putting myself through all these struggles, I was going to become better. Again, Winston Churchill has a quote that says, when you find yourself walking through hell, keep walking. Um, and what he meant by that, I think, was that when you suffer, when you're in pain, find your way through that pain, and at the end of that tunnel, something magnificent will happen. So I kept on going, and I knew that I didn't want to go back to my office job. So if someone was going to reject me, I knew that if I gave up, I'd have to go back. So I wasn't going to give up. I was just going to keep going. Mm -hmm.